Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make five super easy Halloween treats and I'm sorry this video is up a lot later than I wanted it to be but I hope you enjoy watching it anyway. So the first thing we're going to be making are these pumpkin jellies. So just start off by getting some big oranges and cutting them in half. And then you want to scoop out the middle. So I just went around the edge with a knife and scooped it out with a spoon. Be careful with your knife and get someone older to do it if you're young please because I don't want you to hurt yourself. And it is actually really easy to scoop out the inside. Easier than I thought it would be anyway. And then I'm sure you all know how to make jelly but just put the cubes in a jar, add some hot water, I think it's half a pint, mix it up until it dissolves and then make it up to one pint with cold water and then just pour it in your orange halves and leave it to set and I actually ended up only using half of what I wanted to because there was a hole where the stone, not the stone, the stalk, whatever it is, made so you can only use the other half and then I just put the rest of the jelly in some cups because I didn't want to waste it and then obviously put it in the fridge to set and once it's done you're going to make little faces on it with some chocolate icing so I just got these squeezy ones from Sainsbury's and literally just draw on whatever little faces you wanted to and I did this when the jelly wasn't completely set so it kind of moved around a bit but it worked out alright anyway Now we're going to make these chocolate crispy cake bats and I'm sure you've all made chocolate crispy cakes before and if you haven't it's super easy. So just melt some chocolate, put it in a bowl on top of some hot water in a pan so the steam will melt it. I find that's the best way so it doesn't burn. If you're young please get an adult to help you because again I don't want you to hurt yourself. And then just mix it up with some cornflakes and the chocolate goes a lot further than you think and you can make quite a lot with it. So once you've done that, obviously you're just going to put them in the cupcake cases. And then you want to make the bat wings, so melt some more chocolate and then I used the triangle wafers that you use for ice cream, covered them in the melted chocolate and I snapped off the end because it was too long and put one in either side for the wings and once you have done all the wings you want to leave them to set before you do the eyes. So for the eyes I used some white chocolate icing, again one of the squeezy ones that I got in Sainsbury's. So just do two dots on each one obviously for the eyes and then I used this red icing that I used before for red dots in the eyes to make them look a bit creepy and then you just want to leave them to set in the fridge until you want to eat them. Now we're going to make these blood dripping marshmallows so as I'm sure you can see it looks pretty easy and it is so just make up some icing so just put icing sugar in a bowl and gradually add water until it gets to the consistency that you want and then obviously you want to add red food colouring to make it red so it looks like blood and you can keep adding more water, more icing sugar or whatever until you get the right consistency because obviously you want it to be quite runny because it needs to drip down the marshmallows so when you have finished making the icing and got it exactly how you want it all you have to do is take the marshmallows dip it in and kind of twizzle it around so it gets all over the top and just place it on your plate or tray wherever you want to put them and just leave them there and the icing will drip down the sides and these worked out a lot better than I hoped so I think they look pretty cool and as you can see they're so easy Another super easy treat are these worms in mud kind of thing. So all you need is chocolate mousse and jelly worms, but I couldn't find jelly worms, so I went with jelly snakes. 
basically the same thing to be honest they look the same so it doesn't matter what you want to use so all you have to do is scoop some chocolate mousse into these little ramekins or bowls whatever you like to use and stick some worms or snakes in it so it's that easy I only made a couple because I wasn't having a party <laughs> where there was no one to eat them so I made a couple because I don't want to waste them but obviously you can make as many as you want and it probably would look better with quite a few of them so it's pretty cool if you're having a party or something but I'm not. The last Halloween treat are these ghost strawberries and I love these, they are by far my favourite. I just think they are so adorable and I will definitely be making them next Halloween. So just start off by melting some white chocolate and I just use Milky Bar, dip your strawberries in it, get it all covered and again put them on a plate or a tray and leave them to set in the fridge. And once they're set, all you have to do is get some icing and draw faces on them. So I went with two different faces and put them all over every strawberry. And it's as simple as that. And they look so cute and I love them. So that is all of my Halloween treats. I hope you enjoyed watching it and seeing how quick and easy they are to make. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!